What's up guys? Brian's here. Welcome back to the channel. We are gonna play some of that Swords of Legends Online again today. What I have for you guys today is my leveling run from beginner plane 1 to student plane 1. Or, technically speaking, from level 1 to level 36. Please note, these are all my footage from my recent beta 1 run with the global version of the game. By the time the game is fully released, the progress might be a little bit faster than what I have here in the beta. But, this guy should still be somewhat relevant to help you grind through the tutorial phrase of the game. Let's get started guys. Alright, we are starting off with the character creation and picking out class. I picked Spearmaster here because I really like the character design for this class. I noticed there's two branches on this class, with one being DPS and another being a tank, which is my favorite. So that's what I'm going for. The character creation in this game is insane, and I'm pretty sure you can create a very special unique character just for you. After you watch the short cutscenes, you are now in the game. Just follow through with the quests as they are pretty straightforward and easy to follow. There are a couple of different style of quests at the start of the game. Mostly the NPC will ask you to defeat a couple of mobs or pick up and or interact with something along the way to finish the quest. So just follow along, enjoy the cutscenes and story as you see fit. Though a bit of a warning here is that the story might be a little bit hard to follow as the voiceover is still in Chinese and the subs are sometimes not very fully translated and kind of sus. Try to pick up all the quests in the area and clear them all or at least as much as you can before moving to the next area as every little experience counts. Trust me, you see. Soon enough, you will be arriving at your class base. It is a ship for me. Not sure about the other classes though, but I'm assuming it's the same. But here, you have a tutorial where the game teach you one combo rotation for your class. At around level 11 or 12, you will be introduced to your very first instant. But, you can only run in a drill difficulty of the instant until you reach student one. In the game, the quest will say, the practice difficulty. Not sure what happened to the translation in the middle there. I'm guessing there's two teams doing the translation, one for the quest and one for the instance. Anyways, finish the quest given to you by the NPC related to the instant, go inside, do it, move on. You will get your chance at these later when you come student one. Moving along until you reach level 15, this is where as a spear master, and hopefully for the rest of the classes, you will have enough skills for your very basic combo rotation. Now, if you are a completely newbie to these MMO in general, you might be wondering, what is a skill rotation? To put it simply, rotations are repetitive sequences classes follow to achieve a particular role related goal. Most of the time, it is to output the most damage. As you can see right now, I am showing you one of the Spear Master combo rotation for maximized damage. Anyways, moving on, as you are clearing the man story to this point, some of you might run into a small trouble where there is no more quests showing up on your quest windows. What you can do here is click on the cultivation windows. There is a small red icon at the top right of the corner to the left of your map. Click on them, click PVE, and start one of the tutorial quests, and that will get you back on track. From level 16 forward, you can continue to run the main story quest and grab as many size quests as possible to maximize experience gain. As you get to around level 17 or 18, you will be introduced to another instant, the Temple of Mercy instant. Once again, 
Just grab all the quests related to the ensign from the NPC nearby, do the drill, and move on because, well, they won't let you do normal or hard mode until you are student one. Afterward, progress through the main storyline again and you will reach the Frostbitten Path Instant. Now remember this spot. Remember this spot for real because you will be going back here quite often. Anyways, once again, grab all the possible quests, continue to do as many quests as possible until you arrive at Weichuan Highland. You should be around level 23 or 24 at this time. But the main story quests now require level 25. From level 24 to 25, at this point, I would recommend farming um, Frostbitten Path as much as possible. Also, you probably will have some quests just outside this instant also. And the instant drop level 35 equipments. Once you go to the instant portal and enter, you can add an NPC to your party. That will really do a really good damage and speed up your grinding process. If you find yourself struggling to survive during the instant grind, you can swap the NPC to a healing role instead. Then they will focus to just healing you and help you survive. You can do this by going to the companion recruitment uh, menu. You find this as a bottom right menu. Once you have completed the instant quest, that is best to complete the instant objective as quickly as possible to get the most possible EXP and get to level 25 as fast as possible. All right, from level 25 to level 32, 33-ish, we are back to questing, baby. Follow the main story quest while you're completing every single quest you can see. We are at this point where every single ESP counts because we all know sooner or later, we'll be back to frostbitten path to grind exp so we want to run as little as possible there now while you're doing this make sure to check for any unlocked biography quests as they will help with the exp also the game should now introduce you to the bounty quest and the heroic quest event by now so you can do them also while you can to get some more exp all right from level 32, 33 to level 34. This is where you will hit your second roadblock. The main story quest will now require you to be level 34 to continue. At this point, <laughs> you will either most way through your 32 already or early into your level 33. Now, you have some choices here. You can do some heroic events. For some exp or do some bounties on your open world map for some exp or you can speed run frostbitten path instant baby yes we're going back to the frostbitten path i would totally recommend you speed running the frostbitten path if you want the most experience possible because they give you around 10,000 exp per run but if you're bored of it, feel free to do some bounty and hero events. I, I'm not going to blame you. The Frostbitten Path Run, they are boring. Anyways, if you choose to run the Frostbitten Path, at this point you should have two NPC helpers to add to your party, making the run go quite quickly, even if you want to do it solo. Same as before, if you still have any quests for the Frostbitten Path at this point, complete them. On the first run, then you can speed run the rest of them quickly for some ESP gain so we can get to that level 34 as fast as possible. Alright, so you reach level 34. What's next? You guessed it. Back to the main story quest we go. Exactly the same as you've been doing already. Follow the main storyline by picking up all the quests as much as possible as you can see on the map obviously there are going to be some quests that you won't be able to do 
that you have to substitute with the frostbitten path instant run later on. Anyways, if you're feeling spicy and they're in the area and you're already questing in, you can do some hero events or some bounty for some extra bit of bonus EXP, baby. As we all know, we want as much EXP as much as possible. Also, be sure to check for any unlocked biography quests as they will help the EXP also. I did not do this during my run. So when I get to level 36, I have to run the entire level 36 EXP bar in Frostbitten Path Instant. Yeah, don't be like me, okay? So, you reached level 36 and want to become Student Plane 1? How can you do this? This is going to be your third and final roadblock. You will need to fully max out your level 36 ESP bar. You have a couple of choices, the same as before. The bounties, the heroic events, or your good old frostbitten path instant. On drill difficulty, of course. <sighs> also, you can also check for... Any unlocked biography quests as though it helps you with the EXP. Again, I did not do that many. So, this is one of the biggest drawbacks on my grind. I have to literally grind the entire EXP bar for level 36 to get to student 1. Anyway, the most logical way for you to max out your level 36 EXP bar is running. The frostbitten path instant. The grind here might take a while, depends on how much EXP you need to fill it up. So get grinding, guys. You're almost there. Okay, so you've maxed out your level 36 EXP bar. What's next? As soon as you fill up your level 36 EXP bar, you will get a new quest popped up in your quest window. It is telling you to participate in your ceremony of honor. Now, you will need to go to your class hall or the ship, whatever that is, and you can go there by using the portal skill. At this point, you should know what skill I'm talking about here. Um, anyways, once you get there, you will find a new quest in your class hall that will promote you to student one. Follow the quest, complete the quest, talk to all the NPC, as much as possible for the quest, and they will promote you to student plan one, the max level in Sword of Legends Online at the moment. Congratulations, you've earned it. Okay, so I'm student plan one now. What now? So this is where the games kind of open up and really start to kick in. You can open up your cultivation windows and start doing whatever you haven't done to fully understand the game. You can unlock a bunch of items just by doing all those tutorials. You can also finally go back and party up with your friends who are also still in one and start doing those instances in um in those city that where you just done the drill now you can do them in normal and hard difficulty i think the frostbitten path there is an extreme difficulty you can try and earn better gear for your character you can also do some more storyline quests as become student plane one there are more storyline quests for you to do and i encourage you to do that because uh, that would give you a level 45 gears, which is pretty decent, and that would help you with those uh, hard instances. And now, since you maxed out in Sword of Legend Online at the moment, you can do whatever the hell you want. Create a new character, um, rerun the entire thing from level 1 to level 36 again with a different class. Um, Quest with your friends and earn level 45, level 50, level 60 equipments and buff out your character. Try a different build. Try a different combo rotation. And uh, the possibility is endless. And that 
is the end of the guy. I hope you enjoy the guy I put together for you. Please leave a like if you enjoy the guy. Comment below if you stuck anywhere and I will try my best to help you out. I hope you enjoy your experience in Sword of Legends Online. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.